Hello everyone and welcome to XCOM Chimera Squad. Now I played Terror from the Deep along with my brother. I know it's not a multiplayer game but we used to play it together way back in the mid 90s I guess um, and I loved that game even though it was incredibly difficult and I didn't end up getting all that far but I loved that game. I later got the original XCOM, UFO Enemy Unknown, I, no, it was just called XCOM. And I did finish that one. No, my brother finished that one. And I got XCOM Apocalypse, which I did, which I finished. And then I was disappointed by the range of XCOM games after that. Until XCOM Enemy Unknown, or whichever one that was released relatively recently which I finished and I thoroughly enjoyed and I also really enjoyed XCOM 2. Now I know that Chimera Squad is a bit different from all the other XCOM games that came before it but I have been very curious about how it is. Now I would not classify myself as an XCOM pro by any means but I do enjoy the game and I wanted to give it a shot. Now I'm not going for the story mode I don't need that much hand holding. I might go for normal though. Uh, I am not, certainly not going to go for the impossible. I can't remember if I played, when I played XCOM 2, I may have bumped up the difficulty, but I can't remember. But I won't go for that just now. I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it goes, and then we can decide later. So. What's hardcore mode? Failing any mission results in total campaign loss. The campaign save is deleted upon failure and cannot be continued. So I guess that's a bit more roguelike. So once that's done, I would have to start again. Extended city anarchy. Adds five levels to city anarchy meter, decreasing the strategic difficulty of the game. Uh, I don't think I need that. Show subtitles. Yes, please. Half heal sets how much if any health will be healed for free between encounters no healing full heal half heal since i've literally never played this before let's go with relatively safe options or should i go for expert uh, it's a tough choice For XCOM veterans. All right, let's try expert. Two minutes out. Hey, Godmother. Is this like the old days? XCOM swooping in and taking it to the bad guys? I wouldn't know. I spent most of the world training resistance networks. Like mine. And for your many long years of service. Watch it. <laughs> XCOM attaches you to an untested squad and pushes it into the field before it's ready. How is this not like the old days? I'm just happy to be here. I missed out during the war. Wish I could have pulled my weight. For which side, exactly? I find that very hurtful. <laughs> sure thing, Advent. <clears throat> we are through the checkpoint. I was never actually Advent. But they were fitting you for a blocky helmet. Stow it, both of you. We're here. 3-1 PD gave us the all clear. Grab your gear and prepare to move in. Whisper, what's your status? And what's Verge's ETA? Comms are working, obviously. Verge is en route. How? Verge can't drive. He, uh, he hailed a cab. To a hostage situation? Focus. Whisper. Any surprises in the next room? A handful of hostiles, unaware of your approach. Chimera squad, take positions. Prep for breach. Okay. Chimera squad begins every mission by setting up at breach points to get the jump on enemies. Preview the enemy presence at each breach point and modifiers that will be applied, then assign agents to the available slots to determine the order they'll enter the fight. Okay, select the breach slots. 
Okay, so do I just pick them? What difference does it make? I can't... Uh, okay, so I won't... Wait, why can't I pick the third one? Okay, sorry. So, what... Is that a... Is that a minus one? Okay. So that's a minus... Or is it? No, I can't tell. I think that's just a line there. That's not minus one, two, three. I genuinely can't tell what the difference is between these picking different characters for the breach board. Maybe I'll, it'll come to me later. Um, but if you don't know much about XCOM, the basic story is that aliens attacked. But I will cover more of the story later. Advent was the enemy in the last XCOM, XCOM 2. So now we've all been living together after that war, and now they're a part of the XCOM as well. So that's going to be interesting to see. Open sesame. Breach targeting. Cycle through available targets with tab and left shift, then use selected ability with enter. Okay. How come they all have 100%? Now, one notorious thing about XCOM, if you don't already know, is that even a 100% shot can be missed. But in this case, we seem to be all good. All right, let's try response level surprised. Surprised enemies receive a defense penalty and won't react during the breach sequence. Okay, another one. I guess there's only one left. Okay, alert enemies will use an ability at the end of the breach sequence. That's actually useful to know. You want to shoot them first, probably. Hello, I am Mayor Nightingale. Is that our hostage? Welcome to City 31's Memorial Museum. It's just a recording. As I often say, the lessons from our past inform the present. Blah, 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 history. Focus. Sure, agents and enemies take the turns one at a time. The current place in the turn order can be seen on the unit flag above their head and next to their portrait in the timeline, which both update after each turn. Hold on a second. So this is a bit different from the previous XCOM games. In the previous XCOM games, all your units take a turn, then all the enemy units take a turn. But here, we can see that that is our unit, then their unit, our unit, their unit, and then our unit. So we take we take interleaved turns. It's going to make things a little bit different. The agents have two action points each turn to use. That's the same as in the previous game and the one before that. Uh, to use for movement, shooting, or abilities. Look for a blue shield to move into cover for defensive bonuses before shooting, or move out to flank the enemy for a better chance to hit. Sure. Uh, right click to move into cover and gain line of sight to enemy. Rotate the camera with Q and E. Yep, that reminds me of the previous XCOMs. I should also point out that I haven't played the other XCOMs in a little while, so I am perhaps a little bit rusty. Maybe I shouldn't have choosed, uh, chosen expert after all. Right, so we want to get into some cover. Now, these are half cover slots which is better than no cover. There's also half cover there. That might be a bit too close to that guy, but close could be good as well. Um, now, I don't know much about these characters. Oh, right. <laughs> Normally I would pick, decide, you know, pick the right, an appropriate character for the first move. We can't really do that anymore. Let's move over there and then see if we can't take, select an ability from the ability bar or open the short HUD with enter. Okay, short HUD with enter, that's interesting. Just press escape to come out of it. Fire weapon, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So that's 65% and that's 81%. That's interesting that the, the one further away has a better hit chance. I'm curious though, which of these? Okay, that's Trooper 4. So if I take this one out, then he won't take a turn. But 65% is a fairly low chance. 
Let's go. Let's take a chance. Well, that's one down. There's only one left. Oof. Glad it's not one hit kills. Ah, I forget. I'm going to run into this problem of us running out of... Uh, uh, well, not running out, picking the wrong characters, or different characters, quite regularly. Okay, let's get over here, because the then we still have line of sight. And let's take that 64%. Oh, one hit, one kill. Not bad. You see this? Huh, interesting. There are more baddies. Ooh, side powers. Clear. So that must be the guy who got the taxi, I guess. Verge? Ah, what took <laughs> you so long? Had to unpack a breaching charge. Good man. Not exactly. You know what I mean. I always do. So creepy. Don't ever change. <laughs> Verge, form up. Any hostiles in the next room? Yes. I can feel them. I like this. I like the chatter. We didn't have much of that in the previous games because the soldiers didn't have characters. All right, we're doing another breach. Multiple breach points in turn order. Some encounters offer more than one breach point with different risks and benefits. Consider whether to split the team or send them all through the same location. The agents entering from the same breach point will enter the encounter together and be closer in the timeline. The order the breach points will enter is shown next to their name and can be changed using the arrows. Okay. So, all right. Enemies deal plus one damage during the breach. Five agent damage likely. Okay, I am disinclined to do that. What is this eight out of eight, six out of eight, nine out of nine, and seven out of seven? I must, can't be their health. Oh no, it is. Because I know that one of them took a hit and lost two health. All right, I'm looking forward to get, getting to know these characters. So I definitely don't want one the ones with the low health breaching here because they're going to take some damage. Oops. Who haven't, who hasn't already been set up? Verge, no, yeah, Verge hasn't already been set up. Let me just double check. So he has eight health and she has nine health. Yeah, they're good choices. Okay. Breach. It's go time. That's a hundred percent. Ooh, ninety-two percent. They're both surprised. Aggressive. Aggressive enemies will shoot at XCOM if they aren't neutralized during the breach sequence. Only an 81% hit chance. And alert. All right, we'll take the 81% hit chance. Ooh, missed. I was worried about that. There was a good chance. No, we're gonna go for this guy again. 79%. Eighty-four percent, seventy-five, forty-eight. Yeah. Ooh, mess. Not good. Eighty-eight, seventy-six, fifty-eight. It's only the eighty-eight that could work. Seal the deal. I wonder what that means. It's clearly special. Ooh, those are not good places to get cover. Not happy about that. Each agent has a unique ability they can use every turn. Interesting. Eventually gaining more abilities from their class and equipment. Most agents also have the subdue ability, a non-lethal attack that is low damage but guaranteed to hit. Use it to earn additional rewards and for certain mission objectives. Cherub uses the charged bash ability instead of subdue. All right. All right. All right. So we've got one of us and two of them. So ideally, we want to take out one of these guys. Although, Terminal, you are not 
safe, but neither is that trooper. Wait, that one is dead. I wonder what seal the deal is, I'm curious. That clearly has some impact. Now what I want to do is I want to get behind cover. Is that going to protect me against this guy? Please note that when I say guy, I mean that in a gender non-specific way because we actually don't know if these are male or female. So maybe I should use a different word. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, let's, I can't get behind this one. I can't get there because then that guy, I wouldn't have cover against. Ah, this is one of those times. It's like, I wish that I could pick a different character to go first, but clearly I can't. I will take that defense and then I will go for, all right, let's see, subdue, overwatch, fire weapon, subdue. That's a guaranteed hit of two. Melee strike a target to knock them out. Ah, that's melee. That means that she is going to move out of that position, which is not going to work for me. I'm going to go for that, 84%. Ah, uh, I did not watch out for the characters, the two of them that are going to go one after the other. I should probably have taken that guy out. Glad they missed. Fortunately, the low hit things works against, works for us and against us. Cheddar bashes an enemy with the, en with the energy shield consuming all charge. If charges consume, deal damage in a cone behind the enemy. Damage increases with charge, replaces subdue. Okay, kinetic shield. Okay. Places an energy shield on self or ally to prevent all damage of the next attack. Gains one charge when the energy shield is destroyed. It does not automatically end the turn. Overwatch. I'm curious because what we ideally want to do is take this guy out. What are our attack chances of taking that guy out? 81%. Could we charged bash? No, that's not going to work on this guy. Although I have two turns. Huh. In any case, I don't think that'll take that guy out. 36, 6%, 81%. That is what I would love to take that one out. Ooh, only three damage. Wait, that's not the one who just took the turn. Was I looking at the wrong place? Where the heck am I? I think I was looking at the wrong one. Okay, Godmother. Let's take this one out. Can I? No, I can't. Um, now I, if I am getting down here, I'd have to be careful. All right, let's get down there. Changing position. And then see if we can't take this one out. 81%. Nice. So what I now want to do is take care of this one. Ha. That puts me in a bit of a sticky situation. What's this? Battle Madness. Verge psionically attacks an enemy's mind, making them go berserk and attack a nearby target. Yeah, that's not good. Add some to the neural network. Cannot target enemies in the neural network. Not great. Stupor. Verge psionically stuns a target for one to two actions and adds them to the neural network. I wonder what this adding to the neural network means. Cannot target enemies in the neural network. Okay. I think that's subdue and overwatch. A melee strikes a target. If the target would be killed, they would be rendered unconscious instead. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I would like another option, please. Now, that cover is worthless. 
can I have another option, please? I don't have another option. Can I, is there space behind there? There is not, there isn't real cover there. Okay, that leaves me with stupor. Ah, I don't have line of sight. So I can't take, okay. Actually, that's okay because we have terminal going next. So maybe we'll take, oh, we want to take that guy out. But let's see if we can, we can't take this guy out then. Fire weapon, 77%. And maybe I could use duper on them. What does it do? Stuns, tar stuns the target for one to two actions. And uh, let's try that one. Give me your mind. Yes, give me your mind. Okay, so they're stunned for two turns. Excellent. And I still have one turn left. I can do Overwatch. Excellent choice. Let me just see. All right, let's go with that. All right, so now I want to take that guy out. Can I? 39, 41. Okay, that doesn't help me. I want to get... Uh, getting over there is not going to help me. Subdue, overwatch. What's this? Reload. Okay. Uh, ah, okay. So the only thing that I can really do is get over there. That still gives me cover. And then try and take care of that guy. Graced. Only two damage. Not ideal. Ooh, two damage for us as well. Could be worse. See, that helps that that guy is stunned. And now... I'm going to take him out. There we go. Oh, I should have paid attention. I got a bit carried away focusing on the same guy. This is not the same <laughs> game as XCOM <laughs> that I'm used to. So I want to take, care, take this one out. Although, he's going to be stunned for a little while, so it's less of an issue. But let's try anyway. 28% doesn't help me. I need to move. I need to move into another location. If I get over there... Yeah, I can't get to a safe position and have a bead on that guy. So let's get over here. Let's dash over there. That's fine. I'm happy with the dash. And for this chap, I want him over here. Repositioning. And then see if I can take that guy out. 96%. That's a good chance. Great. So now we only have one to take out. What's our percentage chance? 36. That's not great. If I get here, what would be my percentage chance? Do I have any chance? No, not from there. Let's try it. Forty-five percent, is that it? What about subdue then? That's still not enough damage. All right, let's do that anyway, because that's a Shouldn't good chunk. Ooh, they are no Closing longer in. subdued. Ooh, they're running away. That's not Liquidating. great. All right, that puts us in a stickier situation, but let's get over here. And let's see if we can't get a hit. 41. Oh, wait. We can't do a charged bash. Not enough space. All right, let's go for a shot. Missed. Ah, that was unfortunate. But can I get here and then go for a shot? 93%. That'll do. A bam!
It's gonna take some getting used to. Set up the breaching charge. I do like to make an entrance. More? Okay. Some breach points can only be accessed with special equipment or abilities. Once an agent with the required asset is in the first slot, other agents can then be assigned. Okay. So we need something. And Cherub has it. Let's go for these ones. Wait. Available. Available. All right. Let's hit it. Wait, hold. Hostage confirmed in the next room. Oh, that's we not good. We need more than that. 31 PD has a live feed. Patching through. If you surrender, I will advocate leniency. Enough. This exhibit. It is about XCOM's role in our liberation. I see you read the placard. It doesn't say how they went soft and got weak. Now it's up to us to light the spark. He's holding a detonator. Go now. Making a path. Let's go, go, go. All right, 100%. 100%, 59%. That guy is on alert. That guy is on alert. Alert. We'll go for the 100% ones. Can't do much about the ones who are. Ah, 58 is no good. 56 is no good. Yeah, that's no good. 100 it is. 63, 56. 56. All right, let's try on the 63. Ooh, nice shot. 61 or 57. Ah, that's the only choice. Ooh, nice. Thank you, RNG gods, for those hits. I'll protect you. Okay. Ooh. Down. That's Terminal. not good. Stabilize him. On it. Virg, with me. Protect the mayor. Confirmed. Agents that lose all their HP will begin bleeding out over several turns, indicated by the number in the timer. The mission will fail unless the agent bleeding out is saved with the stabilized ability or the encounter is completed before the timer expires. Oh, I'm not happy about that. So... Gremlin stabilize. Oh, I remember these from the last game. I don't have to worry about it too much. I don't actually have to get there. Okay, let's do that. Nice. Can we still attack? 54%. That's all I've got. What's to safeguard? Yeah. All right. We've actually got terminal, then verge then Godmother. So we've actually got three turns before we have to worry about the enemy. And the first enemy that we actually have to worry about is this one, but we can't do anything about that right now. Ooh, nice. At least we got a hit with those low percentage percentages. I'll take it. So with Verge, I have concerns. One is that I don't know how good the cover is over here. Uh, well, actually, that's the main concern. Um, whether you can hit... Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I could just subdue. Because that'll take care of you all together. Yep. Done deal. Subdued the hostile. Nice. And now... Oh, you're on the wrong side. For some reason, I thought that this guy was over here. Now, I cannot easily take care of that guy. Subdue. Yeah, I definitely cannot kill him in one shot. So, I'm going to get over here. Moving. Hostiles are aware. And go for a shot. I uh, still don't want to take care of him. Good chance though, 93. Alright, you're gonna get over here. I'm what are you gonna target. do? 
Oh no. Okay. That's just one. That's fine. I can deal with that. Actions available. Ooh, that's what I should have done. I should have done safeguard on that one Gremlin next on time. Yeah, that would have been a good shout last time around. I okay, can't do much with this guy or gal for now. Ah, good sh shout. So I'm not even detected by this guy. Okay. Can I subdue? I can. Let's do it. Oh, right. Because of Overwatch. Did not see that coming. Neither did I. Thought he said it was guaranteed. Guaranteed damage, just not necessarily all of it. Mayor Nightingale, are you all right? It looks worse than it is. Those medicates are really something. Compliment accepted. What about Cherub? Yeah, I uh, think so. Anything <laughs> injured is my pride. And your diaphragm. And a few ribs. <laughs> None of this should have happened. Most people say thank you. I'm, I'm grateful, of course. But these people don't have the capability for any of this. Explain. I read their threat assessment. A month ago, these insurgents were all talk and no capability. The greatest threat they posed was to bottles of alcohol. Why tell us? Why now? City 31 shows the world how humans, hybrids, and aliens can keep a lasting peace. I'm the public face of this. Tonight, someone wanted what I represent to go up in flames. We're not in town for local intrigue. I know, but right now you're the only ones I'm certain are fighting for that same peace. Can I count on your support? Yes, ma'am. Good stuff, you know. I have really enjoyed it. Okay, it takes a bit of getting used to, but I have thoroughly enjoyed this first mission. Oh, right. If you capture enemies, there's a chance to earn intel. That's quite good. Yeah, I'm really excited about trying this out and I'm going to keep going. I wasn't sure if I would keep playing this, but I think I'm going to keep going. Package delivered to 3-1 PD. She truly believes what she says. That's why she's in charge. Not too shabby for our first official mission. Don't do that. Don't do what? Celebrate before a mission is complete. It's... Oh. It's bad luck. Some training programs and spec ops are, great, are gated by agent rank. Be sure to look out for new opportunities when an agent is promoted. Sure thing. Building rank 3 field teams of each type unlocks stuff. <laughs> Tonight, Mayor Nightingale perished in an explosion at City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. The city council asks citizens to remain... So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad to our city? You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up! Despite opposition, Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote brought the reclamation agency to the city. Without her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. Welcome home, Chimera Squad. The director wants to speak with us. Thanks for getting the mayor killed. Also, <laughs> you're fired. That's not helpful. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll patch the call through when you're ready. I followed your action at the museum and its aftermath. Director Kelly, I take full responsibility for what happened. Stop. I sent you to City 31 because I believed you were ready. Tonight? You surpassed my expectations. Hmm. 3 1 PD requested help within three hours of your arrival in the city. You answered immediately. Going in, you were under equipped and down an agent. You adapted, as we trained you to do. And let's not forget, you rescued the mayor. You delivered her to safety as the city requested. Don't blame yourself for an outcome you couldn't control. Instead, let's focus on what's next. Smart woman. I set up the map table. Ready when you are. Head over there. I'll hold. This is a critical target waiting on the city map. That's fair. What can I do? All right, city map. On that note, I'm... Oh, I can't move. <laughs> feel compelled to use WASD to move around. Uh, but in any case, that was a good, thrilling first episode. Uh, I will carry on with this in the next one. 
and I am really, really looking forward to it. I am. Um, I really like the new gameplay. I really like the character interactions. It adds a whole other layer to XCOM, which wasn't really there before. Uh, I'm really excited about learning more about these characters, and. I'm looking forward to getting used to the new combat mechanisms as well with the uh, person by person uh, taking turns rather than team by team. So we'll have to wait and see how that works out. But we'll figure all that stuff out as we go along. Thanks a lot for joining me and I'll see you in the next episode.